Well, elephants are amazing. To me, they're the, the one species that connects all the dots out there together. They're incredible seed dispersers. You know, they can carry seeds 65 kilometers from their source. They're amazing ecosystem engineers. They're lowering the canopy of trees and making that available for other animals. And then, of course, on an empathetic level, they really are a moral compass to humankind because they revere the old and adore the young. Elephants Alive started a quarter of a century ago with my mother and so we decided for fun to start drawing elephant ear patterns and that's just never stopped. The ID study and the tracking study are two of the oldest projects that we've been running. So many people in South Africa don't get exposed to elephants and Yaz Ronnie that got exposed to elephants and he's got this photographic memory so he can recognize over a thousand individuals based on these ear patterns. One thing that my grandmother taught me is just that in life you never know where you can go but always use every opportunity you get because you may not know where it can lead you. there's an incredible amount of data in terms of just the ID work. Literally thousands and thousands of photos of the same individual and new individuals over time. And also with the tracking data, it's millions of data points. So we've collared close to 200 elephants and they download data every hour. So when we're in the field and we need to, to take high quality photos, we need reliable equipment and there's a lot of dust, there's a lot of heat. It's just amazing for Ronnie to be able to use the rugged computer and actually start IDing elephants in the field. And then it's coming back and processing those photos. So, I mean, on a good day, you can easily take 800 photos. And then this is where the technology comes in. You need to be able to recall, have you sighted that animal before or not? We are an NGO, so everything that we do is totally dependent on goodwill. People are inclined to forget about the technology behind what we're doing. And to conserve something, you need to, to have an affinity to what you're studying. And I think these collared elephants with the, with the wonderful maps that we can produce um, because of technology have just opened a doorway to people to really understand how elephants move.